history lesson. Today's topic, David Cho. David Cho is an American artist, musician, and former journalist who has written for Hustler, Ray Gunn, and Vice, and even spent time as a popular podcaster. However, David is most known for his incredible, completely original, mixed media paintings. David was born in California in the year 1976, the child of Korean immigrants. David spent most of his youth in Koreatown, Los Angeles. David became interested in the arts from a very early age and got practice drawing Star Wars and G.I. Joe characters. In 1990, he was inspired by L.A. graffiti artists Mir One and Hex and started painting graffiti himself. His first graffiti message was the Bible verse, John 11.35, which reads, Jesus wept. Rather than writing his name, he painted faces and figures, cartoony whales, and philosophical messages. After dropping out of high school, Cho spent two years hitchhiking and stealing while traveling across the United States, Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. He returned to Los Angeles at the age of 21 and decided he needed formal training in order to be a real artist. Cho enrolled in the only art school that accepted him, the California College of Arts and Crafts, but dropped out only two years later. David moved back in with his family in Los Angeles. He began illustrating and writing for magazines, including Hustler, Raygun, and Vice. He also started showing his paintings to art galleries, which, unfortunately, exhibited little interest. Luckily, Joe hung his work in an ice cream shop called The Double Rainbow, which was located on the hipster Promade Melrose Avenue. The impromptu exhibition was so popular that the star continued showing it for two years. David was also interested in becoming a comic book creator, and in a single night in 1996, he wrote a 35-page book, and over the next few years added drawings and paintings to what would eventually become the graphic novel Slow Jams. Cho initially made about 200 copies of Slow Jams on a photocopier, um, on a photocopier, and gave them away at Comic-Con in 1998, hoping to interest a publisher. Later that year, he submitted Slow Jams for the Zarek Grant and was awarded $5,000 to self-publish a second expanded edition to the total of 1000 which came out in 1999 with a cover price of $4. Over the next decade, Slow Jams became a cult phenomenon, and in recent years, increasingly rare copies of the graphic novel have changed hands via eBay for hundreds of dollars. Joe's best friend, Harry Kim, began documenting Joe's life, often living with him while videotaping his work. Over the next ten years, Kim would capture thousands of hours 
of Cho's everyday life, and this footage would eventually become the documentary Dirty Hands, The Art and Crimes of David Cho. In late 2003, Cho arrived in Tokyo. In his first 24 hours, he punched an undercover security guard due to a misunderstanding resulting from the language barrier. He was arrested and sentenced to three months in prison for violent assault. During that time, he suffered from loneliness, anxiety, and lack of access to art materials. With small pieces of paper and the one pen his cell was allowed, he made over 600 drawings from prison, including portraits of his Japanese cellmates. He also executed a series of erotic paintings using soy sauce, tea, blood, and urine for color. After three months, he was released on the condition that he leave Japan immediately and not return. In 2005, internet entrepreneur Sean Parker, a longtime fan, asked David to paint murals in the interior of Facebook's Silicon Valley office. And in 2007, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg commissioned him to paint somewhat tamer murals for their next office. Although he thought the Facebook business model was ridiculous and pointless, Cho chose to receive company stock in lieu of cash payment for the original Facebook murals. His shares were valued at approximately million on the eve of Facebook's 2012 IPO, making him one of the wealthiest living artists ever. Since then, David has been soul-searching and dedicating much of his wealth to charity. Recently, Mr. Cho has a television deal with the cable network FX and the streaming service Hulu, where his program, The Cho Show, is streaming. That was a brief history of David Cho. Thanks for watching, and 